I'm, I'm, I, I'm not. I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. That's the thing. Anyway, I am Stanford Chidge. This is the Church Football Fancast, and we are back. And we are back with a bang because it is the fannies' our favourite bit of the week, where we get to award our match awards and. Uh, this is actually now made even better by the fact that I finally got our, our new website, ChelseaFanCast.com, up and running. And it means that I get uh, the nominations up hopefully a good 24 hours before the show, which means you lot out there who listen and watch uh, the show can, can vote. And uh, there you go, proof of proof we need to add that, if you can see that. But there you go, that is our live and direct website and a wonderful work of sexiness it is. Now, we are starting the proceedings, Pablo, as we always do, with the man of the match. Uh, and of course the nominations this week were the wonderful John Terry, as we've already said uh, during the show. Look at that face. Look at that face. I love that, that glint face. glint in that person's glasses yeah. looks like he's spitting or something. It could be, but I don't say that because <laughs> the Daily Mail will get hold of it. Anyway, JT, I think Captain Leader legend, absolutely masterfully wonderful leader <coughs> performance and a great goal to cap it off. I think Aspie, you know, I think Aspie de definitely deserved a nomination. I thought he really, really put in a shift. He gets better and better every week, doesn't he, Darren, I think? Yeah, poor first 20 minutes. He had a couple of bad challenges, yeah. but after that, his second half is... I don't mind a bad maybe challenge. Maybe our best right? player, maybe our second best player, but the second half, he was um, a lot better. Yeah. Bad, bad first 20 and minutes. last but by no means least, one of my favourite people in the universe, the, the lovely, wonderful, uh, solid Serbian that is Brana Ivanovic. Mm -hmm. I had a great view of that shot, because I sit uh, kind of directly north of where we're looking there. You might to see me. Yeah, come here, look at it again, put it back up. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of above all of that, uh, and I had a great view of that. And he really, he really smacked that. There's somebody celebrating in the background. That wasn't me, but uh, I was probably doing something very similar. But he smacked that. And I mean, Brown had a few chances, created a few. I thought it was, I mean, apart from the first 20 odd minutes, I thought Brown had put in a really good game. But anyway, enough of me waffling on. Um, what would you, who would you vote for? Um, well, I thought Matic was every good, every bit as good as the rest of the back five, but it's got to be Terry, really, hasn't it? I think we'd be foolish to look anywhere else. I mean, we really, really would. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm voting. I did, in fact, vote for Terry. So you would go for Terry? Um, yeah, there's only ones in the first half when the defence weren't well organised when they had, I think, Naismith and Osman that could have scored. Yeah. But that was the only thing he did bad defensively. Um, yeah, Terry. You were happy. I was happy. I'd You're agree happy. with Pablo. I'd have said Massage as well. Yeah, uh, well, I, 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 actually, I mean, you know, Ross's uh, player ratings confirmed that. Actually, we had, I mean, check, you know. He mm. gave him an eight, which I think is fair enough. But you're going to go for Terry, Doctor Mark. I, I had I had William in 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 frame you did, didn't until you? he got hooked. I said that earlier, yeah, because uh, just his industry was amazing. Mm. He, he he one minute he was creating a chance on the far byline, and then he was saving a corner on the on the on the other byline. I mean, how do people do that? I, I don't know. Because he's, 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 he's got he's got energy, he's got an mate. engine. He's he certainly got, got an engine. engine. But no, I'm, I'm Out of those JT. Three. JT. The, he just tipped. Well, we're all universally saying yeah. JT. I'd like to hear what the benches would have to say. JT. JT. They're just looking at me. You're like having, little you're having a laugh, right? <laughs> JT? Absolutely. Universal? Yeah. yeah. Love. You like Matic, Remy? Well, there you go. And Darren, Darren was, was given a bit of love for Matic. Pablo was first. And Pablo was first. How could I possibly forget? Mm -hmm. I mean, I he's know. only sitting here, <laughs> you know. But, uh, well, I'd like to tell you that no matter what we say, or in fact anybody on Mixler and Twitter, I bet they're probably saying much the same thing, are they, Darren? Um, CFC unofficial said JT for him. Reverend Basingwa said check. Um, I think I think CFC unofficial actually might be a she, not a he. Okay, well, how sexist of me. CFC unofficial said JT for her. Um, you you would fit right in on the Sunday supplement. <laughs> Apparently, they were being incredibly sexist about the lovely Alison Rudd being on there this Sunday. I missed it sadly, but I never caused a bit it. of a stir. Um, all right, I, I can put you all out of your misery because the greatest thing about the fannies now the website is done is that it is no longer. I should be playing the funeral music here. Da, 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 da. It is no longer a chidocracy. I can no longer cheat. I am very upset about this. But the results on the website are final. And they are in reverse order. 14% of you decreed that Brana Ivanovic was man of the match. 22% of you decreed that Aspie was the man of the match. But a stonking 64% of you said JT deserves man of the match and we actually all agree with you so there we go so we all speak with one voice is what I like to hear well done him now, it is a she it is a, it she. Is a she I know I read a very good blog she did about the Man City uh, fiasco actually that I happened to see on the Trust uh, Twitter feed and it was it was a brilliant brilliant uh, Brilliant, brilliant read, so well done you. Uh, right, now, chant of the match. Uh, yes, amazing but true. I have actually managed to find some chants from uh, the game on Saturday. The best thing about chant of the match this week is the number of comments 
left by Everton supporters on our website. <laughs> Abuse, trolling of the highest order. Listen, I tell you the only thing I can draw Bless from that. You know how much we hate Liverpool fans, or scousers as we like to call them. Uh, I can't actually say anything on the list, which is what we normally would do. But uh, Everton fans are are equally scouserish as scousers. That's all Bless I'm them saying. All. Go and check out our website for Chartler Match. It is absolutely hilarious. The best thing about it is the more they post rubbish on there, the more money I earn. Keep doing it, scousers. I love it. You eat your rats and I'll earn money. It's great. OK, Chartler Match. Uh, we had uh, we had quite a few, actually, but the, my, my favourite three were... I mean, I think you obligatory have to have a sign-on when anybody, any team from Liverpool plays you. Got, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's not either that or in your Liverpool slums. Yeah, not for me, but yeah. yeah well, I like sign on with a pen in your hand. A bit of a half-hearted sign on, but there was one. Yeah. There was one. Yeah. Uh, there was also quite, uh, you know, towards the end of the first half, there was a great uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, yeah, was. Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Yeah, the whole game picked that. Yeah, I like a bit of that. I tell you what, you see, what you got to do next time you come along, right? It's going to stand. If you, I know we're a bit old and we can't stand for very long. <laughs> I, I do have to sit down there. It's a bit annoying. But uh, sit up near benches, Paul. Because we can uh, we can stand up at the back, right? And I can like whack the horning, and when it's like Chelsea, Chelsea, so it was a good one of those. It's me banging the but horning it was a in good the back. One of those. I know it's great. So, but anyway, I like the Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea because I do. But I think the best one, obviously, I think the minute that JT scored, almost the entire ground got up and did double, double, double. double. John, John Terry has won, won the double, double. And, and the, the poo from, from the, the lane have won nothing, nothing again. again. John, John Terry has won, won the double. double. Two, three, four. Uh, and that is what I was going to vote for, so I would vote for that. But what, what do you, what do you yeah. I know you like sign on. Are you going to uh, vote for that? Ha hands down, Terry, double. But um, we did only kind of sing when we were winning. So I know. We we were I mean, we did that. Yeah, but I, I, I did give some valid reasons as for why I thought we were so yeah, cool. Yeah, I know. But, you know. Um, but yeah, that's That was that's, good. That's I mean, song. just think, if the atmosphere could be... Uh, for like 91 minutes like it was in the 92nd. I mean, it would be pretty good, really, but, you know. Yeah. We'd have um, to score 92 goals, wouldn't we? There was obviously a very passionate, just, come on, Chelsea, come, come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea, come days. on, Chelsea. Um, I that. And it was probably the first time, and we haven't just been singing the Williams song mm. for ages as well. Yeah. So, a couple of positives. There are small it. mercies to be had. <laughs> are you going to vote for Double Double? Of course. Yeah, I thought you would. So, Double Double, Double Double, Double Double. Yeah. Yeah, double, double, double. Double. I'll, give, I'll give you JT everything today. You are. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I did wonder earlier on. There was, I think there, might, there yeah. might be a chance for a, a JT clean sweep clean this week, week reckon, actually, yeah. which we've, yeah, uh, we've I'll, very I'll put rarely had. On that. I think you might have still been around when I'll we put gave. Put shekel on yeah, that. Yeah, you might have still been around when we gave Sir Frank Lampard the clean sweep. Oh yeah, it's yeah. part in 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you, you would have been around. Okay, we have said double, double, double. What are the people on the benches saying? Double, double, Absolutely. Double. They are all in agreement. Yeah. Even Rami, who was a dissenter last round. <laughs> yeah. well, you knocked him into shape, Beth. Have you, what, have you threatened him with, like, you know, kicking him out of the CIA or something? I think everybody knows how I feel about JT, so yeah. I think we they can, know what they can we have. You can see that from yeah. the family yeah. show, though, Beth. It is. I all know. right, OK. I can, I can proudly reveal uh, that we are in agreement here and on the benches and also on the website because the good people who listen to and watch this show have voted as follows. They have voted, funny enough, exactly the same as they did for uh, the first round, which is, in reverse order, uh, Chelsea, 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 which got 14% of the vote, and sign on, sign on, with a pen in your hand, got 24%, and double, 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 got a stonking 62% of the votage. So there you go, brilliant stuff. I like that, I enjoyed that. Yeah, that I this, this newfound website interactivity <laughs> public could be almost like a proper show. Mm. Uh, no chance of that. Right. Um, one thing that is very nice, though, is that occasionally we do get to run a nice, beautiful, reformed video, and this week is no exception because we have one uh, from the uh, from Gazprom, believe it or not. But they they got they've got inside Chelsea's training ground, and they come up with. Ch it's a shame Chad is not here. He'd love all this. Loads of stats in this video, but it's a nice kind of sneaky behind the scenes look at uh, Chelsea's training ground at Cobham. It's brilliant. Have a look at this. You'll love this.
Lovely stuff. Uh, thank you for allowing us to show that, what they call a rights-free video, which means I don't end up going to prison for showing it. Um, chef, the chef meister, um, did you talk sort of a bit of cooking going on there, lots of potatoes. What do you think? Would you like to work in that kitchen? Yeah, but 60 meals a day, is that all? 60 meals a day? Do nothing. Surprising. Nothing. nothing. really fat yeah. than 60 meals a day. Lovely. Good stuff, chef. Um, now, uh, in view of... Uh, of the last video scene, I mean, what we do like to do normally is to show something that you might have filmed. It's very, very simple. If you're at a ground or in the pub before, you go along and you film it like that, not like that. Not like that is wrong, like that is right. I think they know by now. Just... No, they don't. There's people out there <laughs> yet to be discovered in the Amazon rainforest who know how to shoot a video probably on an iPhone. But anyway, send it in. Send it in to me, uh, but email me first. Email chelseafancast at gmail.com and we'll try and get it on the show, providing it doesn't have any banned words in it. We'll just, we'll just put that... Uh, if it so does. No anyway, singing, then. Uh, no singing, exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, time for our Guinness moment. I could do with a Guinness right now, actually. Um, there were, actually, amazingly enough, if you look on the website, the little blog I put, there's actually quite a, there was quite a selection in what otherwise was not a very, mm. you know, match. I found quite a few things that made me go, ooh, ooh. Uh, and many of them didn't even make the cut. Yeah. I know, but these did. Uh, the nominations this week were... Hazard uh, did this brilliant nutmeg. That, that is obviously not him doing the nutmeg. Uh, but he did this brilliant nutmeg. I had a brilliant view of it, which is how I know. And, uh, and um, I actually I <coughs> shouted nuts when he did it. I hoped he called it. I really hope he called it. I mean, we, we had a great view of it. You, know, you yeah, know what I'm talking about. Brilliant nutmeg. So it's a lovely nutmeg. I like that. Uh, but uh, JT did a tackle on Ross Barkley. Uh, it got Ross so excited that uh, he's called it his tackle of the season. Um, I was hoping that uh, I had a photograph which I had of this that was not of uh, the tackle on Barkley, but it was a very good shot which did show JT's tackle quite prominently, and I was oh. going to make a gag about it, but I didn't tell Greg, so I'm we didn't get didn't. it in the show. Now he's now looking at me, think, saying, "Thank God you didn't tell me that." Uh, now, last but by no means least, uh, we have to nominate JT's goal. Not so much because it was a sublime bit of skill, but it certainly made me go ooh. It made me go ooh more than Ramirez's shot did the minute before. Which uh, I actually thought I, I really did think we'd scored. I kind of nearly leapt out mm. over the over I can the see edge. That. It was uh, very close. But I mean, that was great. I mean, I've got to give that the Guinness moment, not least because I mean, everybody just went mental around me where it scored, and they never go mental where we are, do they, Mark? Well, where I see, like there's, people, there's normally so. nobody there at that time. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> but everyone was still there, and they went <laughs> mental. Well, which there is we nice. go. All right. So, what are you going to vote for, Pabs? Uh, last minute win is the very definition of a Guinness moment, it really, is, isn't it? So. Yeah. It is, I think so. Uh, that's what I went for as mm -hmm. well. So it's two out of two. Are we on for a JT clean sweep? Clean sweep. We could be. We won't be on for a JT quick clean sweep because he's not got nominated for summer. Can't we change I'm, I'm that? No, we can't. <laughs> uh, so there we go. So you're saying JT yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, what are they saying on here? Can you find out while I talk to the benches? They're not, they're benches they're are you going to be... talk about Galatasaray? I think they're bored of our fannies. <laughs> We but never, I mean, <laughs> we never talk. How can you be bored of Whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing point else. of order, point of order, you muppets out there. <laughs> this show has been going for five and a half years, and we never talk about the game coming up because it breaks the space time continuum. Deal with it. Right, benches. What do you think about that? JT's goal? I'll do JT. me a JT tackle and a JT goal. Okay, you like JT's tackle, no surprise there. Uh, but I'll take that as a red that it's the goal. OK, you lot out there did vote for this, and you voted as follows. 62% of you voted for JT's goal from Frank's free kick. So it's, that was very, a, you, it's very consistent, isn't it? It is. It's 62 or 64%. It's, it's probably the same one person voting. <laughs> yeah. Or three people 62 voting. 62 times. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh, JT's tackle on Barclay got 23%, and uh, Hazard's Nutmeg got 15%. So there we go. Consistency rules. Now, I go really enjoy this. I'm going to so enjoy this. This is the celery moment for this week. And again, there were actually quite a lot of contenders that I, I, had, to, I had to choose and select. But I actually went for this. Now, this uh, first one is priceless. Uh, I, uh, I checked the, uh, the Chelsea app, you know, the, the, the little app you get on your phone for Chelsea, immediately as the game finished. And I checked it and clicked on it, and it revealed this. So we got the photograph of this? There we go. <laughs> Apparently, according to Chelsea, <laughs> not that they're biased in any way whatsoever at all, but apparently Chelsea won 3-0. Uh, and it seems that the confusion, apart from their utter biasness, which I absolutely applaud, could, could arise from the fact that in the 92nd minute, Frank Lampard, John Terry, and Tim <laughs> Howard all scored in the 92nd minute. Uh, there we go. We had three goals in a minute, which is pretty incredible. So there you go. According to Chelsea officially, and that was on their website too, because I saw similar photographs mm. doing the rounds from the website. Apparently Chelsea won 3-0. I love the bias. They, 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 they just went with them. Um 
all the other news agencies weren't sure which one had scored, so they just went for the sensible thing and figured that they all did. Mm. So who did you think scored it? So? I thought it was Terry. Well, yeah, I, I thought it was Terry. Most people in the pub yeah. with me didn't think Terry. he got a touch of it. Because we all sit right behind the goal. Yeah, you had a better view. Yeah, and they were, I mean, he yeah. didn't. I thought he could tell. Did it his chin? Do you think it was a Tim Heldown goal? I didn't, because I thought Lampard's yeah. free kick was going on target anyway. OK, just to let, let you put you at ease, Richard Keyes, remember Keyes, Richard Keyes? Yeah, hairy he, hands. He, hairy hands, he, wolf man. I know his daughter very well, actually, she's lovely. Is she hairy as well? No, she isn't. That's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why she's lovely. Um, but anyway, uh, he said that Frank Lampard scored it, so that's proof, if proof we needed that Frank Lampard didn't score. Um, right, so we've got, to do more, we've got to do more nominations before we get too carried away. The second one that I like, uh, there was a moment in the second half, ball kind of got passed back to Petr Check and like a great big giraffe, he trod on the ball and nearly went A over T. Again, Greg has informed me actually, breaking news, Greg informed me before he put that up that this is not a picture of Czech treading on the ball, <laughs> uh, which I'm sure you can see. Um, anyway, I thought it was really funny and a lot of people around me laugh when that happened. I don't remember it happening. I've got to say the best to yeah. last, Darren. Darren Mantle's got a nomination. <laughs> Darren Mantle's nomination for Celery Moment this week. Okay, I, I should actually read this out. I, I'm going I'm to read, <laughs> read this out. You read twice in rehearsal. I know, so. but it was so good. It just deserved to be read out. Um, but uh, bear with me while well, we just get, get this up, as the actress said to the bishop. But this is... Uh, around, here we go. Finally, a moment of sheer salariness uh, and dazzleness this week. I was informed in the pub after the game that our very own whirling dervish, the one and only Dazzle Mental, got up early on Saturday morning with what can only be described as a veritable cob on. Apparently, he had had enough of the offensive graffiti painted on a wall near to where he lives by some cocky Galatasaray fans. Dazza could take it no longer, so he went out, armed with a pot of white paint and a paintbrush, and duly whitewashed the Galatasaray fans' message to us. Proper Darren, proper celery, proper chels, welcome to whitewash Galatasaray. Now, there we go. I actually do believe that I might have voted for that myself, but what would you have voted for? OK, with that, because it's funny. I mean, it's brilliant, <laughs> isn't it? I love that. 3-0. Uh, you're going to go, you're not going to vote for yourself. Only you vote for yourself, too. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no one else does. Yeah, but I do what I want. Martin? Uh, because he should know better at his age, I'm going to vote for Terry's lime green boots. That's you know not what? on the I list. You can't I'm do that. I'm still going to vote for it. I was thinking, Lampard was the only one with normal Yellow boots. card to Martin for not following the rules. <laughs> no, hold on, let's just go with this. No, because we haven't got much time. Out of 11 players, only Lampard had normal boots on. OK. Well, I would have voted that, but that was not unusual. Benches, though, what are you going for? Shush. You going for the Chelsea score? Darren. Darren. Really Darren, but I went for three. Darren. See, Darren's getting the love from the benches. Well, I voted for Darren, um, but I'm very sad to say that, you see, clearly people don't know who you are, Darren. We've got new, new followers and fans, and they, they d you need to get a bit crazier. They, they, you know. <laughs> anyway, look, very, very quickly, because we've got 30 seconds left. The winners are, in reverse order, Czech got 8% for treading on the ball. Uh, Darren only got 25% for paying out the Galatasaray graffiti. That is disgraceful! Look at yourselves in the mirror! Long and hard! Terrible! And the winner is, I mean, it was funny, I've got to say, but the winner is uh, Chelsea giving the score officially as 3-0 on their website. 67% of you voted for that. Brilliant, we've got to go. Now, after this break, uh, we are going to have a massive monster, monster, monster debate about whether Czech or Courtois should be Chelsea's first choice keeper next season. We'll see you in a minute.